What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. Today's video is how to use the Ultra Beat Sampler. So I'm just going to show you a few tricks that you can take and use for your next beat making session. Let's jump in. New session, create an instrument. By default, my, my new template is to open up keys. So you can choose whatever you want to open. What be the first thing that Logic will open for you. Go into output one and two. Let's quickly create that because Logic's highlighted the uh, instrument all you need to do is just double click in that space and it will bring up another instance or for you to open up another instrument so we're just going to instrument we're looking for ultra beat drum synth so if you notice when you open up ultra beat it's really full of different sounds so imagine you've got a sound pack now by the way i've just dropped a new sound pack called the plug i've put a link in the description below if you're looking for some fire sounds for your next beat making session then click that link and cop that so what we do next is yeah like i said it's going to have all these sounds in here so to get rid of each individual sound you're going to have to go in and unload each sample long boring and taking up time taking up all your creative juice so we don't want that so the best thing to do is i've created a clean slate so i put that in the description box below as well where you can just quickly put that into your folder of all your drum samples for the uh, for the ultra beat and then you just have to click that and then there you go clean slate if you don't want to do that like i said you can go through unload each sample and then just save it as default so just click default and that would be a clean slate so now what we want to do what i'm going to show you is how to put samples in each slot of your clean fresh slate on ultra beat so we've got the kit here the plug and what i like to do is have start off with like a kick Basic, basic drum kit, kick, snare, clap, hi-hat. So that's what I'm going to do quickly. I'm not going to bore you, just going to speed it up. So we drop each individual sound in and we've got the kick, snare, hi-hat. Once you've done that, all you need to do is save that as whatever you want to call it so that could be maybe a rap template or rap kit rap drums we call it we call it rap drum so we've got the, the basic kit uh, you can support samples all day up until 25 samples whoops what's happening there oh now you could do that so it looks like if you press command and click the uh changes the samples all of them sample volume we don't want to do that we want them all the same so then when you move it to your mixer you uh you can change them if you want if you need to so as i was saying you can use 25 samples i just want to show you another thing that you can do with the ultra beat so if you create a little drum pattern in here like a four to the floor pattern or this is do a quick rap pattern so that kick down cool little trick there you can copy and paste the pattern onto a, a new um what would you call it a new <laughs> i forget what you call it it's cl uh, clean slates clean clean samples clean edit window on the ultra beat and then copy pattern go down to the next one paste and then you have another pattern so you could quickly you can like change this new pattern maybe add some more kicks in there drag that up into your window turn that off in ultra beat and you know i mean instead of just using uh, the 32 step sequencer in ultra beat this allows you to create more more sequences so you can copy and paste that one that new pattern drag hit the down arrow 
go into another clean step sequence and hit paste take some parts out maybe add in a different snare pattern with <laughs> i keep saying pattern like that. snare pattern and maybe adding some hats on that part and then you can just drag it onto your edit window but you always want to make sure that you turn off the ultra beat and the sequencer otherwise you're going to have the sequencer playing plus the midi that you've dragged drag and dropped into your edit window so turn off that sequencer and then we're just going to loop that eight bars this is what it sound like So yeah, so that's a nice little trick for you if you want to create a few sequences. That's, what's that? Two bars? Two bar loops. To join all them sequences, all you need to do is highlight them all and press J and that'll be one sequence. If you want to go back, just Control Z, move stuff around if you want, if you need to. And just be creative. Just keep changing it up and making, a, making it interesting. Do you know what I mean? Like every eight bars something new should happen within your beat if you're not doing that already so that's it for this video that's just a quick way of using the ultra beat just a quick recap i showed you how to unload the samples how to load samples in to save as and have a clean slate and then use and then save it as a default if that's what you want to save your default as or you can create a different name for it it's entirely up to you so, but so you know anytime you, you've got some new samples you've got a fresh slate fresh clean slate what else did i show you and how to create different patterns using the copy and paste in your sequence are so i hope this video has helped if it has hit that like hit the subscribe button make sure you hit me up on instagram i'm always dropping hints and tips that i don't always get to post on youtube because they're just little short snippets of maybe like stuff i've been working on or stuff that i found and i i, I can't make a video for it because it's just too short like i said if this video has helped hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell as well so you know every time i put something new up notification gang as per usual, I appreciate your time and thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.